Serving sacrificially. Surely we are all living to the limit anyway at the minute. And to be asked to, to serve on top of that, is just adding to the stress and the stretch of everyday life. Yes, to serve sacrificially does sound like the invitation to serve even more stressfully. I think actually this aspect is about why you're serving. It's to serve with a purpose. It's not to serve because you have to, but to serve because you want to serve people. I remember a boss, when I worked in an insurance company, he was a very bright chap, but he used to do things in a way that made everybody light up when he came into the room and made us all feel so much better. And I discovered in the end that he was a Christian. And one of the reasons why things were so different when he was in the room was that he'd learnt this sense of just serving sacrificially. So sometimes, on, on some weeks, we used to work really hard to get all our work done so that by the end of the week we would got about an hour or so to talk about our faith. So we served very sacrificially throughout the week and then we got a chance to just catch up with each other as Christians as to what was really going on in the office and, and how we could improve things and how we could uh, be more effective in, in doing insurance better which is the job I was doing. I was just an insurance clerk as a young man. You can tell when you're being served sacrificially, even when it's only that momentary contact with somebody at the checkout. Somebody who's buoyant and joyful and engages with you and you feel as though they want to serve you. You think, yeah, gosh, that was good to meet them, even if it was just a few seconds and I was just buying a bag of crisps or something. I've been served sacrificially. I go away feeling bigger than I was be before I met them. So uh, it's more a question of how you serve and with what joy and freedom and liberation in the way that you give yourself. So I think that's really what's going on. It's not the amount, it's the quality.